Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Roth three one three one or George or whatever the hell you want to call me. And I've got a bit of a different video for you today. Excuse the iPhone camera shaking, uh, but I'm gonna be use I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, some of you may know that I'm a musician. Uh, I play a lot of instruments, but mainly guitar. Uh, so I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of that side of me. But first, my sister's cat Pepper, cute little bastard. But yeah, so let's get right into it. Excuse my setup is a bit messy right now. But yeah, so if any of you see my other videos, you like where it's like these vlog things where I'm doing my setup. There's this room in the background. This is where I keep all of my instruments, and I'm gonna take you guys through them. Well, some of them. Uh, first ones first is the Les Paul right there. It's an Epiphone Les Paul. Uh, this is. My one of the my favorite guitars that I have. Excuse the weird camera angle, uh, but it's an Epiphone standard Les Paul Sunburst. I love the color; it makes a great noise sound. Uh, and it was probably it was the first like proper electric guitar I ever had. So my parents got that for me when I was thirteen, I think, thirteen or fourteen, one of the two. But yeah, that's been my baby ever since, and I love this thing to death. It's got. So obviously I like the Les Paul layout of it, I like how it's one piece of wood. And the humbucker pickups that run really nicely with the strings, I use Alexis on those. Uh, second one is my, well, I'll get to the bass in a minute, is my Fender Stratocaster HH. Now, this is a bit of a rare guitar actually, I didn't know this when I bought it at the time, I just like Fenders. But this is rare because of the humbucker pickups. Now humbucker pickups, for you, those of you who don't know, these are just the standard Fender pickups, but this isn't a Fender, but I use part of the Fender to make that. This is just the standard ones for Fender. But as you can see down here, it's got these sort of shiny like squares like it did on the Les Paul. Uh, and those are called humbucker pickups, which basically buck the hum. But, uh, yeah, so Fenders don't usually have those. And they produce a limited edition called the Stratocaster HH, which is what this is. Uh, but there weren't many of them made. I think there's only like 3,000 of them made in the world. And I managed to get one of them, so I'm never ever going to sell this one at any point because it's a great guitar as well. Alright, so the bass. Alright, so this is a Barcelona custom bass. Uh, this is the only bass I own at the moment. Uh, it makes a great, it's a great bass. Unfortunately, I don't have a bass amp at the moment because. I was borrowing one from a uh, friend of mine, but he needed it for something else because he's a bassist rather than me as a guitarist, so I gave it back to him. Uh, yeah, so that sounds really good. Um, if you guys want me to demonstrate any of these, just let me know in the comments section below. Uh, over here is my actually my father's Yamaha. This is nearly 35 years old, and it's a great guitar because it's all made from pretty much from the same piece of wood and it makes it it's really out of tune at the moment so I'm not going to pluck any of the strings but yeah it's a great guitar one thing I hate about it is though I hate tuning it because this thing has gone through so many sets of strings it's almost a it's almost a nightmare to try and tune the higher strings of the A A string the B string just terrible alright over here the Beast of Berlin guitar I call this the Beast of Berlin because this is pretty much, I've taken this thing apart, stripped it down to its nuts, it was a really cheap guitar actually. It was like $50 or something like that. I pretty much stripped it down, the springs that work the pickups are actually from a pen. I from all that, I, fa I found a Floyd Rose tremolo, so I put that on there. And then I called it the Beast of Berlin because it used to have a sticker on it that said Made in Berlin. And it's just terrible. Uh, and I drew those lines on it when I was a little, when I was younger. Then there's the 2-2 guitar, which is absolutely dreadful, but it's what I got my start learning how to play guitar on. Because it was small and I could get, when I was a kid, I could get my hands around it. But I mean, if you look at my hands, I've got pretty, pretty decent sized hands. And over here is my absolute baby. It's the purple Ibanez um, acoustic guitar, and it's my absolute favorite guitar of the ones I own. Next to the Les Paul, because... My parents actually got this for me last year, and it's been my pride and joy ever since. Like, when my friends come around, I'm really, really cautious about letting them play it. It's an electric acoustic, and it's 
makes a great sound and it stays in tune forever, which is absolutely beautiful. And basically, it's sort of like the only guitar that like I would take. I take anywhere. Like when we go on vacation, it always goes with me, and things like that. So, yeah. So those are the guitars that I have at the moment. Got any questions about any of them? Leave them in the comment section below. We also have a ukulele here, because I play that. And we have a trumpet there, because I can also play that. Uh, I I have a mandolin around. Actually, no, my mandolin's upstairs in my room, so I'm not going to get that. But I also play that. Uh, yeah, so if you guys want to have any questions on these guitars, or if you want to see more sort of personal stuff like this on my channel, just let me know. And YouTube. I'll see you later.